Hey everyone, this is Lacey. Welcome back to Paws and Papers. So today is another Drab to Fab Friday, and I thought we would work with some of these um, junk mail envelopes, and I have all of the, the window ones. I thought maybe I could use the window and make some like pockets just to um, tuck on the journal, but these will be completely sealed and we're just going to use the envelope as like our decoration and the pocket will just go between, you know, like the back of your page of your journal page and this. So let's just get started and you can see I none of these are coffee. Well, I have one coffee dyed envelope and the rest are just blank, but I've been getting some of these larger ones, which that is kind of what I wanted to use. And this one's really cool. Never seen one that big before. But um, it will work with these smaller ones too, you know, the smaller windows. So we'll give it a try and see what we can come up with. So I think I'm going to just start with like one of these. Um, maybe we'll just start with the coffee dyed one. Um, the larger square ones. And I got just some all kinds of book pages with different things on them. Just I thought maybe I could find something kind of cool to stick in here that might fit. Um, there's some cool bright mushrooms. Um, and then maybe on the outside, um, cause we're not going to, I'm not going to use the whole envelope. I basically just want to like cut it down and glue it shut and then make a pocket. So I really just want like this much of it, you know, enough to make a pocket. But for this remaining part, maybe we can do some stamping or some, I got some book page to collage. So let's just let's just get started shall we all right so let's see first of all let's get this picture cut out here and this i thought would be a good idea for some of these pages you know that like these book pages they're not super thick and i probably wouldn't necessarily just use them on their own i would have to you know back it on something um so i thought you know what a good idea to use this envelope to, you know, give it some stability. And that way I don't have to worry about backing my envelopes with anything. And then I still have a really cute pocket. Um, so that I think looks good. So I'm just gonna, and these are all gonna be completely sealed up. So I'm just gonna lightly glue the top here because it really doesn't have it's not going to go anywhere because the whole thing is going to be glued up but I'm just going to glue it to the back just to get it stuck in there okay so right now it's just stuck on the back and now I want to determine maybe I should see typically most of my journals are um, this size just um, a full sheet of uh, letter size paper folded in half. So I want to make sure it fits on a page. So I'm going to have to get, give it enough room. Let's, let's do that. So this is just try to cut straight. And now, you, I mean, you could use this too and just collage that all up and make an, you know, a pocket out of that. So now we have open sides here. And I'm just going to glue it all shut. So I'm going to glue the top here and the bottom. Down. And that'll seal that. So you can see these are going to come together really quickly. I think it's probably going to take you longer to go find some pictures to put in them than it is to actually get them sealed down. Okay, now, oh, I have the, if you got these little flappy glues, you know, from the envelope, you're going to have to just make sure you get all those stragglers glued down, and then glue a little bit here that didn't get glued. So yeah, when you cut it, that, that flap might come loose a little bit, it's not all glued down but there we go okay 
So maybe I want to put just a tiny bit of a thumb hole. I can't go down too far, but maybe just a tiny one. There. I think that's cute. Could even round my corners at the edges to make it look really finished. I think these would look really good in a journal. We can let's just put some ink around it. Accent that up a little bit. You know, just add some fun with the crinkle, you know, the texture. Just something fun to play with. You know, it's always fun to run across different varieties of papers in your journals and just be able to make noise and, you know, touch the different textures. Um, so now we got a little bit of this here that maybe we want to cover up. So maybe one of my, my stamps, um, would cover some of that up and I could disguise it a little bit. So let's try. I did, I ended up getting some new ink here. I got an actual stays on ink rather than I was inking with like just the distressed oxides because I didn't have a lot of stamps yet or anything. So I was just kind of playing around with, you know, my Distress Oxides. And uh, so I actually got a Stazon ink. And it does make a huge difference, actually. Comes out so much nicer. Okay, so let's see if I can get a good stamp here without... I always get this stuff at the top. I don't want that. How do, how, how, how do you not get that at the top? Am I, am I pushing too hard? Maybe I am. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Maybe. Maybe! Hang on. I'm being super fussy. I want this off. Let's just get that off. Okay, so now I believe I can get this stamped on here. Maybe. Maybe. Should we go for it? Go for it. Ta-da! Well, that's cute. Well, that covered up that problem there. And should we just carry it all the way around the bottom? Why not? Why not? It's here. Make it easy. All right. I think we got it. Do we got it? Good deal. All right. And then we'll just continue our little border. And there we go. Well, that's cute. So there's one done. And if you wanted to go completely around, you could, but I think it looks fine just like that. Cool. One and done. Okay. Let's see what other sizes we can play with. Should we do the great big one? This one. This one's a cool one. I need a great big picture for this one. What do I, what do I want? Should I do, well, that's a pretty one. This whole one here. And we could do it sideways and then put it on like this in a journal and make it like, it's a little bit bigger than a normal journal, but we could even make it like a, just a, a clip on. Should we do that? Okay, so I believe this one's already the right size. Yep, that should fit in there. So we just need to trim it down some lengthwise. Oh yeah, that's gonna look cute. So where we need to trim right there, and we can just do my drawer and get my ruler out did we did we lose ourselves okay there we go all right sorry about that guys there we go now we're back okay we're just going to if I get my stuff out before the video I'd be prepared what's the fun in that right who wants to be prepared I don't think I, I had any tear very straight Okay, 
doesn't matter. We're going to seal the whole thing down anyway. And this one is just going to get the whole thing glued down, so I don't even need to glue it on the inside there because it's not going to move. The whole thing is just going to get sealed. And that page isn't going anywhere. And you know, you don't have, see, you don't have to have these coffee dyed. I mean, they look good. A little bit of ink on it and you don't need to always be using, you know, it doesn't have to be coffee dyed or anything crazy. It can be simple. Some days you just need no muss, no fuss, simple. All right, so let's just dirty that up a little bit. And really, this one's kind of cool by itself. You don't really need a lot of anything else on it. It's pretty cute just like that. But what if I, what if we use some, what kind of goes with that? Maybe this one, like just a little hint here and there of a, a leaf. Yeah, let's try it. Let's see what we can get. All right. Now that I got this one ink, I need to try some different colors now now that I know they have all different colors of this. Now I need to get, you know, of course, like 15 different colors, right? You can't have just one. That's no fun. Okay, so let's just do a little random stamping. See if we can get some design going on here. That's kind of cute. Alright. Pretty simple and easy. You know, I like getting these freebie envelopes, but sometimes it's like run out of ways to use them. Like what? What can I do differently with them, or how can we make them jazzed up a little bit more to look not so, not so same old, same old as, you know, it's an envelope, obviously, but let's make it into something else. So, I don't know if it's going to come off of that plastic, you know, uh, it does a little. So you might want to just watch that, because if you do stamp on the plastic, I don't, the ink, I think would eventually dry on that, but like here, I think... This one's been sitting for a while, and I do believe it will dry. Nope. It is going to wipe off, so let's just wipe that off. So you're going to want to try to wipe that off as soon as you get it on the uh, plastic stuff, otherwise it's going to come off on your journal. But that's cute. I like that. And do we even need... We're just going to make this a big, you know, tuck in a journal. Be right there. I don't think I even need a... A thumb hole but uh if I do make this like a um, an add-on I think I would want to people I mean you could actually use this as a journal card maybe we should just do that and then just cover the back here oh let me find a scrap paper dig it in my box of scraps oh not big enough um, but yeah that way then what's this not long enough just gonna find me a piece of paper that's long enough. Okay, I think I found one. Maybe. I'm struggling. Okay, found one. Is this one? Okay, found one. This is super thin. Wow, that's really thin. I don't like that. Okay, still looking. Not happy with that one. Not big enough. Maybe I should just go get a sheet. Hang on. Okay, and I'm back. You would think that I could have a piece of paper closer to me, but no. Why would that happen? It has to be across the room on the other side, so I have to go over there and get it. Okay, so let's just glue this whole thing, and I'm just using... Um, my favorite old glue stick, Scotch Create glue stick. 
I like this glue stick. It's a good one. Glue sticks are so much easier to control. Um, and uh, that's a really strong one. I like the way it, it, it'll hold really well. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gluing this whole thing down. So that way, whatever we decide to do with it later, since I know it's going to be bigger than my typical journals, unless I do make a bigger journal, obviously, but it would still make a really good piece to, you know, just paper clip on um, to a journal rather than having to glue it down. So there we go. So now we actually have reasonable writing space and it could actually now become, we could just call this a journal card. Make a cool journal card, right? Very cool. So there we go, that's two ideas. Got one pocket, one journal card. Um, let's try one of the smaller ones, like these. Um, these are more, I think, popular. More people get that kind. Um, like these real skinny ones. What do you do with like a real skinny one? Well, maybe find some cool words like this one here. Maybe like meadow, pine forest, broadleafed forest. That might fit in there. Or we could just find a word. Does that fit in there? Just make people think about something. How about that? Order of pigeons and doves. Okay. That's, I think, what we'll use, right? Make people think about that one. Who's in the order of pigeons and doves? Okay, so how much of that? Well, pigeons and doves is going to fit for sure. Oh, is it going to be two? Well, I don't think I cut down. Don't think I cut down far enough there. Oh, well, let's just attempt this. Might have to glue it in because I don't think I, I think I cut it too short. And now it's going to be, yep, I'm going to have to glue it in. About right. Of pigeons and doves. Yeah, why not? Make somebody think about what the heck that means, right? That's what it's all about. Meant to make you question what you're looking at. It's a part of the discovery. Discover what that stuff means. Well, maybe I could just... Oh, there we go. That's an idea. Let's just do that. Let's take this fancy old letter here. And let's just do that, right? Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's do that because just the whole of is weirding me out. See, things happen. Just keep going with it. Everything happens for a reason. And eventually it all comes. Oh man, this is sticky on that already. Turn the page. Okay. There we go. Let's just put that right there. Perfect. Now we solved our little problem there. Let's just glue this thing down. And see what we got and this one if we make this one a pocket two we're gonna have to cut it off right at the edge there okay so right at our makeshift bird here let's just cut a little bit of that off all right good deal seal this thing back up
Okay, I'm making a mess with my glue everywhere. Squeeze all that out. I don't think I cut straight. Does that look straight to you? No, it's not. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing. Okay, that might be better. Maybe I'm making it worse. Okay, we're going to stop before I keep making it worse. Just ink it up. There we go. Inking it up is going to make it better. And if you wanted to, to make these a little bit sturdier, you could also stick in a piece of like a cardstock or something a little heavier in the back to make your uh, pockets a little bit more substantial. But I feel like since I'm going to glue it down anyway, you know, this stays pretty well. I mean, you're not going to be ripping stuff in and out. I don't think most people are too hard on them that I feel like I would have to really reinforce that. But if you like, you know, to have super sturdy, definitely go ahead and, uh, you know, stick something else in there or layer up some book pages or whatever. So now... Let's go ahead and decorate the outside of this one. Maybe we'll just use on this one. Let's just collage up a little bit of, just use a little bit of book page here and do a little bit of random collaging. what we can get stuck in this little area. If I cover a little bit of the window, you know, that's all right by me. I just don't want to cover up too much of it because I do, that the whole point is to have the window. Yeah, let's get that cut off there. There's that little bit. Um, what else we got in our floating around in our scrap pile here? I got a little bit of music, maybe. There we go. This is already pre inked and everything. Ah, oh, must have not wanted to use that piece. All right, let's let's glue that down. These are just kind of fun to make, you know, ways to use up that junk mail, always finding ways to use up junk mail. Um, if you get it, you might as well use it, right? No sense in wasting it. There's just a little piece of something. Don't know, something. Some little colored piece. Might look kind of cool right here. There we go. Looking good. Okay. A little bit of hang over there. How about now let's uh, re ink a little bit here. Get rid of my inking back edges and I like my little pocket or my thumb holes so let me quick put one of them in there okay and then re-ink for the third time because I can't decide what my process is and well oh I rounded corners round these corners up Cute. And then, no, I'm just playing. How about, should we do some more? We've been doing the stamping. How about let's do some more. What do we got here? Oh, I got these. Let's see what I can do with these. What's any of these interesting? Oh, what's this one? This one looks kind of cool. It's got little daisies or something on it. Come off there, mister. There we go. All right, let's see what you look like. Where'd my acrylic block go? What did I do with that thing? Oh, here it is. Still got that one on it. I know you only got like three feet of space to go here. You can't go far, but yet I still managed to lose stuff on this desk. 
Okay, let's see what we got here with this one. Okay, and then maybe we got some wordage over here. Maybe we just want to do one kind of go off. Yeah, let's just kind of go maybe this way. Kind of go. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Go that way. Oh, that's kind of cute. Some of it didn't show up, like, because it blended into the music a little too much, but that's kind of cool. Don't mind that. What else could we put on there? Um, should we try just background stuff or text? I have a little bit of text over here. Maybe let's just use this one and see if I can just get some of that text stuff. Um, right here, maybe? There we go. That's cool. All right. And put some, there we go. All right. Well, that's kind of fun. So let's bring back in all the, the three that we've made. And so we've got all made from different types of window junk envelopes. Got a really tall one that I'm going to use as a journaling card that I can either just paper clip or tuck right in a journal. I've got a bigger window that I'm going to use as just a pocket. I'll just glue that down right onto a page. And we got another one that, you know, the smaller um, return like envelopes that I will use as a pocket also and just glue that right down. So there you go, guys. I hope that gave you some ideas and. Um, don't forget to subscribe and keep your notifications on and then you can keep crafting with me. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.